Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are talking about the basics of radar here, um, and also we are talking about the radar equations. When you are talking about radar, the radar is nothing but the radio detection and range. When we are talking about the radar, the abbreviation of the radar is nothing but radio detection and range. It is means about the radio frequencies. So we are going to find out the uh, we are going to find out the maximum frequencies with the high frequencies. We are going to work with it. So here we are working with the, all the applications which is going to be about highest frequencies. And each and every place we are going to detect the the targets which is mean to be detected. So the word is the word radar is abbreviation for the radio detection and ranging. So radar is an electromagnetic systems here used for detection and location of the objects. So which type of the objects we can take? We can go for the any type, either it is going to be live or non-live. So, such as aircraft, ships, vehicles, human beings, natural environment, and trees, uh, buildings, and each and everything. Radar systems uses the modulated waveforms and direct to antennas to transmit the information here. Uh, just we are going to send the a little amount of the electromagnetic energy into the specific volume in space to search for the targets. And after that, the information which is going to be coming back from the radar to our particular transmitter. So there is a two-way process should be done here. Then only we can say that the radar work is going to be completed. And which type of the, what type of the properties we can take here, like range, velocity, angular positions, right, and the distance, we can go for the many. Uh, let us see here. Uh, when we are talking about the radar principle here, the first one is going to be transmitter here. The transmitter and as well as the receiver both are connected to the same antenna. A single antenna is works for the transmission purpose and as well as the receiving purpose. The transmission purpose and as well as the receiving purpose here. First, the transmitter signal is going to be transmitted from the transmitter antenna towards to the object. The particular object which is going to be sense the reflector waveform or the echo signal from the target towards to the radar here. Once it is received by the receiving antenna, the echo signal is going to be received by the receiving antenna. Then the receiver is going to be the process of the receiver and the radar system is going to be starts here and which is going to be finds the target detection and it is also be sometimes it can also changes the what are all the parameters is going to be there from the target. So here I told you already the objects a portion of it is reflected back by the target I said. So as well as the radiated portion is collected by the radar antenna and processed here. So one antenna can be used for both transmission and as well as the reception purpose. And this is the complete radar block diagram in the operation. When you are talking about the antenna here which is means for the same transmission purpose and as well as the reception purpose. It is going to be used for the transmission and as well as the reception purpose. So here is going to be duplexer antenna is the, the duplexer antenna is going to be work for the transmission side and as well as the receiving side also. First and first the pulse modulator which is going to be sends the information, the pulse signal towards to the transmitter place and the transmitter to the duplexer. And the transmission signal towards to the uh, rate, towards to the target it is already sensed. Once the receiver signal is received by the antenna, the same antenna, so we are ca calling here is going to be receiving antenna that will be given to the amplifier here. So the low noise radio frequency amplifier which is going to be amplified the uh, coming signal or uh, the echo signal and towards to the it will sense to the towards to the display place before sending to the display here it is going to be compared with the local oscillator frequency and which is going to be given to the intermediate amplifier so because what is happening sometimes why we have to go for the magic filter or any type of the filters here because whatever the signal we are sending from the radar system towards to the target the received signal which is received by the our radar system will not have the only transmission signal 
I mean to say the original signal it will not be. It is going to be mixed up with the some noise because it is traveling in the free space. When it is traveling in the free space, automatically it is going to be mixed up with the some other, uh, it is mixed up with the different types of the signals here. So we are calling here it is going to be noise. So that noise is going to be removed by using of the margin filter. So particularly I have kept here margin filter. So any type of the filter we can use. Uh, for our radar system purpose uh, for this subject, we are uh, studying the, this margin filter in the last unit. So because of that reason, I have taken the margin filter here. By using all these filters, we can uh, avoid the noise here. We can filter the noise here and we can send the information towards to the detector place. So when you are taking here, uh, the 2D detector I have taken here. So the two detectors it is going to be taking for the audio and as well as the video. So if you want to see the like the video and uh, if you want to amplify the video, you can also go for the video amplifier and that will be um, that will be uh, seen in the display here. And what type of the transmitters we can use? Oscillator and the magnetron. So both is going to be present. Just simply I am showing here only transmitter. But inside of the transmitter, we are having the oscillation, uh, oscillator and as well as the magnetron also. And the examples of the, uh, what type of the, uh, what is the range of the detection here? Let us consider that here one of the object is going to be presenting which is going to be like the aeroplane. So the aeroplane which is presenting here is, is going to be detected by the our radar system here which is going to be detected by the our radar system here. So when you are taking here what range it is going to be. So to detect the aircraft of a particular object at the ranges of 100 or 200 nanometers we need a amount of the megawatts of the power and we need several microseconds is going to be uh, passes this pulse and as well as uh, pulse per seconds it is going to be transverse and the waveform which is going to be generated by the transmitter that is going to be travels via the transmission antenna and as well as it is coming back to the receiving antenna. So as I told you already a single antenna is going to be works for transmission purpose and as well as the reception purpose also. And this is the small application I have kept here. So these are all the targets here, right? So this is going to be display. Whatever you are seeing here is going to be display and the radar system because this is whatever we are taking uh, in the previous slide that will be for the block diagram. But this is going to be about the like the real time application if you are seeing the total entire radar system with the big antenna which is going to be like this. Okay, So you can see here the total entire radar system here and this is going to be detector. So whatever the information is going to be detected by the our radar that will be displayed inside of this. Okay, So we can go for the positions, we can also go for the so different uh, tar different characteristics we can take like target size we can find out, target shape we can find out. So what type of the material and the orientation and the velocity, what velocity is coming towards to the radar system. So we can find out the such type of the uh, different types of the different types of the characteristics here. And uh, whereas we can find out the polarizations also we can decide um, depending upon our antenna we can go for the polarizations like the linear polarizations or uh, we can also go for the circular polarizations and the elliptical one. So maximum circular and the elliptical is going to be used in the real time applications. And the duplexer place what we have taken there. And this is the detector uh, as well as display we can take. So demodulated the pulse modulation by using of the detector here and which is also amplified by the video amplifier in the block diagram and the displayed on the CRT which is going to be cathode ray tube. Uh, this is a special CRT called the PPI plant position indicator. And the display range 
we can take the the most common form of the cathode ray tube display is the plant position indicator or PPI. So, which is going to be maps in polar coordinates, the location of the target in azimuthal plane or uh, sometimes it is going to be elevation plane also. This is an intensity modulated display in which the amplitude of the receiver output modulates the electron beam intensity. So, most probably uh, the every polarization which is going to be along the, uh, the coordinating system when we are taking. So, every time we are going to consider the x is going to be like the electric field and the y is going to be magnetic field and the z is going to be the polarization or the propagation of the wave is going to be presented. So, based upon the antenna when you are taking, so we have to see that uh, uh, it won't at what position it is going to be and at what direction it is going to be that is very important and the radar frequencies here for the different frequencies we are having the different types of the um, applications is there the applications of the radar when you are taking so a simple um, a simple applications i have taken here so which is going to be for uh, we can use for the air traffic control Actually, the radar which is going to be works for the land purpose, sky and as well as the sea purpose, water levels and uh, road levels and as well as the air levels. So, aircraft navigation and the air traffic control which is going to be like the air control and the ship safety, submarines and uh, wherever we are using submarines, uh, uh, we can go for the uh, ship safety and uh, remote sensing and the law enforcement and the military also mainly the radar system which is going to be used in the uh, the major applications we can take it as uh, for the military applications here and uh, for the different applications different frequencies we can have the frequency pass the high frequencies which is going to be for the uh, reflex of ionosphere okay uh, OTH radar very high frequencies and the ultra high frequencies which is going to be for the search radar we are going to use like then we are having the different variations here like K band, C band and okay so sometimes millimeter one this millimeter one is going to be space to space radar and for the tracking purpose or airborne radar if you are taking you can go for the X band and the K band also so very small antennas we are going to use okay thank you